And if there's anybody out there who's gone through trauma and the trauma has made you wonder and the trauma's made you uncertain and the trauma's made you afraid and the trauma's made you indecisive and the trauma's made you doubt God and doubt church and doubt religion and doubt theology and doubt all kinds of stuff, this message is for you. I know it's been a bad period. It was cool when Jesus was doing the cool stuff. But then he started doing the dying stuff and following him ain't so cool right now. Not when you're being shot down in the street. Not when your whole community is angry. Not when you're scared to go jogging. Not when you could get shot in your own apartment. I know it's hard to have faith when people act like your life don't matter. It's hard to have faith when they laid you off your job. It's hard to have faith when you run out of money and you ain't got nothing to tell your kids. It's hard to have faith when your mama dies and you can't even go in the room to say goodbye to your own mama. And you sitting in the parking lot of the hospital having FaceTime with her while she died. And I know that that is not the kind of atmosphere that produces absolute faith. It produces questions and anguish and trauma, and it makes you walk back and forth and say, where is mama's God? Why not my mama? She was too good. Why did, why did that, how could that happen to somebody that always was helping other people that I don't understand? And I don't want to bring your doubting, frightening, troubled self right on into this service because he's coming for you. In your pain and in your anguish and you don't have to dress it up and you don't have to quote scriptures and you don't have to say nice Christian stuff to him. You can come to him mad and say, unless I thrust my hand into your side and feel the nail prints in your hand, I ain't studying you thinking about you. I got in trouble serving you. I got hurt serving you. I got disappointed serving you. I got wounded serving you. And all of a sudden he says, shut up and give me your hand. And he let a doubting Thomas touch him in a wounded place. And it was not his clear, perfect places that convinced Thomas. <laughs> To all of you preachers, that the only thing you want to show us is your good stuff, that ain't what makes a ministry. Your erudite, charismatic presentation of articulate theological dissertations is not what changes lives. What changes lives is show me where you hurt, show me where you bleed, show me where you fell down, and you said, I can't go no further. Show me where you almost quit. Show me where you like to die. Show me where your knees buckled. Show me where your faith got tired. Show me where you almost gave up. Show me with you laying over your daughter's casket screaming. Show me that you can be touched by how I feel. That's what this text means.